Hi, we are Laura, Joel, Thomas and baby Samuel, a Swiss Italian family who is about to embark on our first adventure as a family of four. We are heading to the beautiful city of Siena, Italy, and decided to drive overnight from Zug, Switzerland to Siena using our trusty Tesla Model 3. But first, we need to work some Tetris magic and fit all of our junk into the car, including two car seats, a big ass double stroller, a travel bed, clothes, snack, diapers, and a power station. I know we are extra that way. Driving through the night has proven to be a genius move. The kids fell asleep faster than a slot on a hammock and we can finally relax. Siena is truly a culinary paradise and we've been stuffing our faces with the most incredible dishes from the moment we arrived. Oh, and please excuse the huge vomit stain on my t-shirt, it's just one of the perks of having a newborn. After satisfying our taste buds, we are making our way to Piazza del Campo, the heart of Siena. This iconic square is renowned for its unique shell shape and medieval charm. In the summer, as excitement for the Palio builds, it's customary for members of the various contrade to dress in ceremonial garb and parade through the city in the so-called Corteo Storico. Some of us appreciated it more than others. After devouring this mouth-watering gelato, we finally reached the Duomo. This awe-inspiring cathedral is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and a true architectural marvel. However, Thomas isn't feeling his best, poor little guy, so we're headed straight to Rinidia Bio, an absolutely magical, eco-friendly resort nestled amidst the breathtaking rolling hills of Siena. The resort's architecture blends harmoniously with the natural landscape, creating a picture-perfect setting. From the moment we stepped foot inside our apartment, we were greeted by a cozy, rustic, yet modern ambience. And look at this, we can grill in our private garden. But that's not all. The resort has a playground equipped with swings, slides and even mini rock climbing wall. And let's not forget about the swimming pool. We spent hours splashing around, laughing and creating memories that will last a lifetime. In the evenings, as the sun begins its slow descent below the horizon, the entire property seems to come alive with a mesmerizing display of colors that would make even the most talented artist envious. Taking in the breathtaking view, we couldn't resist the temptation to go for a walk. Rinidia Bio has not only provided us with a place to stay, but has gifted us with a magical heaven where we can lose ourselves in the captivating embrace of a Siena sunset. Today we're heading to Monterigioni, a village enclosed by towering medieval walls built in the 13th century to defend the town. Its ancient walls and charming buildings create an atmosphere that transports you back in time. The streets are lined with charming shops, delightful cafes and quaint boutiques. Of course, we couldn't resist trying the local delicacies. We found this little cozy restaurant tucked away in one of the alleys and obviously we indulged again in some of our favorite dishes. After our quick football match in the town square, we decided to head back to the resort as the rain was starting to pour. Our final destination is Cascate del Mulino, a true natural wonder that will leave you in awe. Nestled in the heart of Tuscany, these enchanting thermal waterfalls are a sight to behold. The thermal waters, heated by underground volcanic activity, flow gracefully down a series of terraced limestone formations, creating natural pools that invite you to immerse yourself in their warmth and tranquility. Our visit to these waterfalls has been a quick one, mainly because of the multiple lightnings that managed to kill us all. Nonetheless, we loved every moment and Thomas really had the time of his life. After fueling our bodies once more with delicious food, we are heading south to introduce Samuel to Laura's family. Stay tuned to witness the joy and excitement that awaits us.